Well, that's the first we're showing one right back. Let's go. All right, let's get right into it, bro. So, wait, how'd you actually like get into numerology and everything? Like, 9 11. 9 11? 9 11 was the turning point in my life. I woke up, uh, saw the Twin Towers going down, and I thought I was watching a Bruce Willis movie, Die you were, Hard. You were in New York? No, I, no, I was in Cleveland, Ohio, but I saw it on TV. And I thought it was the movie Die Hard, and then when I realized what happened, I uh, went outside, smoked one for everybody, you know, that you know, lost their lives. And then um, I, I saw there was Flight 11 that hit the World Trade Center on 9-11. I'm like, hmm, that's, that's interesting. And then I started thinking, wait a second, the police code for emergency is 9-11. And then I'm like, wait, let's go into all the facts. New York's the 11th state in the union. New York City, 11 letters. Afghanistan, 11 letters. The Pentagon, 11 letters. I'm thinking, whoa, what the hell is this? And then I started looking at more stuff. Like, the Twin Towers look like an 11 side by side. They both have 110 stories. Yo. At this point, I'm like, okay, this is no coincidence. And basically, at that, I, I saw smoke. I didn't know where the fire was coming from. But at that point, I realized... Someone's doing something on purpose. I just didn't understand why. And then that's when my love of history came in because I always loved history. That's, by the way, something you kids nowadays are lacking. World War I ended on 11-11 at exactly 11 o'clock. They're still firing bullets at each other at 10.55. At 11, they stopped. So as soon as I connected 9-11 to that event, I'm like, someone's doing something on purpose. I just didn't understand why. There's no books on the subject. There's no inter the internet's just not what it is today back then. There's no research on this. No one's talking about this. And you know, most people thinking I'm oh, this dude's crazy. And then a little bit later I figured out that Al Qaeda was founded on August eleventh. That's the one they blame for 9-11. And their two other biggest attacks in Spain and India both happened on March eleventh and July eleventh. What do you know? Still a coincidence, huh? What, what's the power of 11? Like, why would they do that? 11 is a master number in numerology, and it's also emotional energy. So when you have 11s all over the place, you can expect people to be more emotional. And that's why they have these terrorist attacks under 11 energy, because they know it will get the people riled up. Were there, like, ancient societies into numerology, like the pyramids and that yeah, kind of, of stuff? Yeah, um, People in Babylon... Uh, when it comes down to, you know, Atlantis, this is all they used because this is based it, for you people to understand what numerology is. It basically represents energy. There's some people out there who can read auras. There's some people out there that can look at you and see what is magnifying off you. And based off the colors, it will be able to say what type of mood you're in, if you're trustworthy, all that other stuff. But here's the thing about numerology. We don't have to see those colors. We don't have to see auras. As long as we can interpret the numbers, they will tell us what the energy is. And whenever it's an 11 day, you expect people to be emotional. 11 is also a number of charisma. So people who are born on the 11th tend to have a lot of charisma. There's two ways to be 11s. You can be born on the 11th, like the top podcaster in the world. What's his name? Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan! Oh. <laughs> the top, top guy in the world is born on August 11th. He happens to share the same birthday as the top wrestler of all time, Hulk Hogan. The real American hero, he was born on the 11th. So again, it's generational. You understand what I'm saying? It's not just one generation with that birthday, it's another one too. Who is pretty much the top guy when it comes to streaming in Miami? Sneeko. Aiden. There you go. Aiden and when's he born? On the 11th. So when it comes down to it, people who are born on the 11th have natural charisma. You might look at Aiden and be like, whoa, how did this guy get on? He's not really talented. But people are drawn to him because he's born on the 11th, and that's why he's in that position. So, like, what about all the people born on 11th that don't have influence? Are they just, like... They're not using their abilities to their potential. So they basically, like, have more potential because they're born 100%. on the 11th. 100%. Candace Owens came out of nowhere and did it. Candace Owens was not a plant. Candace Owens was not manufactured, and she was born on the 29th. What's 2 and 9? 11. There you go. Now, it's not just when it comes to people who are influencers, because I just don't want to go there. Let's go to the things that are much more important than influencers. Would you agree that the president of the United States tends to be a little bit more important than these influencers we're talking about? <laughs> I'd say so. Okay. Barack Obama. 
Born 8-4 in 1961, 8-4-1-9-6-1, adds up to 29, 2-9 is 11. What does that tell you? That tells you that Barack Obama, probably the guy with the best mouthpiece in the since John F. Kennedy, and John F. Kennedy's born on the 29th, 2 and 9 is 11, is an 11 life path. Who else is an 11? Uh, do you remember? Well, you, you might not, but there's a guy called Ronald Reagan. He was the uh, Republicans' messiah, and Ronald Reagan was an 11 life path. Uh, let's go to Joe Biden is an 11 life path. He's old, but if you look at his past, he used to have a lot of charisma when he was a lot younger. Do a lot of like the so numerology is typically with a lot of like these feminist whores. But like 100 percent. What do they have any of it right? Or no, they have just no, a whole different no, version of it. No, they, they just make stuff up. There's no accountability. You understand when I tell you something, I'm throwing a birthday. I'm throwing an event behind it so people can be like, yo. Look it up yourself. Don't believe me. Look it up yourself. I'm actually being accountable by telling you what I believe and then giving you information to back it up. There's no accountability with these women. So obviously, they're not going to give you the same. They're going to tell you, uh, you're going to meet someone with the letter S on Tuesday, and it's going to be a wonderful day. Some and, bullshit. And, and, and guess what? The sun's going to come up tomorrow, too. <laughs> so again, there's a difference between what I do and what these broads do, okay? Um, I'll give you an example. One time I checked this woman, her name is Allison. She's been a numerologist for 40 years and she is selling matchmaking advice. And again, I have no problem with it. Capitalism's wonderful. If you have a skill, sell it. The thing is, she's divorced three times. So if you're selling matchmaking advice and you're divorced three times, don't you think that's kind of um, you know, fraudulent? Yeah. Okay, so I check her on this and she tells me I hate women. Mm. Again, no accountability, no nothing. I just hate people because they disagree with me. No, I hate people because they're fraudulent. I hate people because they go against, they don't have any morals. I hate people because they're thieves. I hate people because they don't actually represent their true selves. That's, that's a reason to basically hate someone. But for being truthful, no, you're just trying to better someone else. Why is the birthday so important? Like the day you're born? Because it, when you're born, you're imprinted with energy. And like even like a C-section, that's yeah, like the no, same thing? Even, 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 I, both my kids are C-sections. What about the day you're conceived? Does that have anything? That might be a weird question, but. You're a little bit too smart. Uh, we'll talk about that off. Oh, that's an off-camera one? <laughs> that's an off-camera one. But yes, uh, things do matter. Everything matters. But just to go back to what I was saying, um. For instance, let's take you. What's your birthday? August 20th, 2003. Okay. So you're born August 20th, 2003. Because you're born in 2003, you're going to have the characteristics of any of the goat energy because that is the year of the goat. So you have to think of it like this. The earth is spinning. And once every 12 years, it spins with different energy. And whenever you're born, you're imprinted with that energy that it's spinning with. So it's imprinted on you. So that means because you're a goat, you're going to have good goat years and you're going to have bad ox years. The next year, the ox is 2033. That's probably a year that you have to lay low a little bit. The next goat year is 2027. I'm willing to bet that you're going to fucking blow the hell up faster than any time in your life that year. Uh, examples. I'm sure people know who Andrew Tate here is. Andrew Tate was born 1986, the year of the tiger. When he come up, 2022, the year of the tiger. What do you think? That's a coincidence? But someone could say, yo, that's one example. That doesn't mean anything. And you know what? I agree with you. Don't you know someone named Sneeko? Yeah. He's mm -hmm. a, Sneeko, born the tiger 1998, too. the year of the tiger. He got his first Millie last year, 2022, the year of the tiger. There's another guy called Mr. Beast. He's born 1998, year of the tiger, and what he do last year? He got a billion dollar evaluation for his YouTube. He's basically became a billionaire last year. Yeah, no, tiger, he... tiger year. But you know what? Someone could say, "Yo, that's not enough." I got one more for you. You know who Tom Cruise is? Mm -hmm. Tom Cruise is born 1962, the year of the tiger. The first Top Gun movie came out 1986, the year of the tiger. He became a star, and then last year the. The uh, second Top Gun movie came out 2002, 2022, the year of the tiger. He's a tiger. He was the highest paid actor in Hollywood last year. So again, not one, not two, not three, but four examples of how this works in everyday life. This is what the women won't do. They will not give you these type of examples. They will just say, trust me. Guess what? We don't trust you. <laughs> hmm. It's that simple. I need evidence. I am the biggest 
critic in the world. That's why I'm trying to tell people, I was the biggest critic. I need evidence. I need proof. And that's why I'm able to provide so much when you ask me questions. There's no hesitation. How does this incorporate with religion? Because I have a very religious audience, and a lot of them probably say, like, haram, halam, all this yeah, kind of stuff. Listen, um, first of all, I respect the Muslim faith. I believe um, Islam will do a lot to cleanse in the centuries, to, in the decades to come. Um, but listen, it's very simple. If you believe in Allah, if you believe in Jesus Christ, if you believe in anything any religious book has, they, they're all written in different languages. The Torah, the Quran, the Bible, all different languages. They only have one thing in common. Numbers. Every single one of your holy books has numbers. And they're all in the same shapes. See, the languages are different, but the numbers are all the same. And what that basically tells you is this. It's a universal language. It is a gift from God. It is that simple. If you, This is a virtual reality. This is all a virtual reality. Spiritual beings in a this human is, existence. Exactly. This is all a virtual reality. And numerology and astrology are the cheat codes in life. If you learn these codes, you get to navigate life a lot easier. What are some of like the, the numerical coincidences in the holy books? Like I know I know like the, the moon's mentioned what twenty eight times in the Quran, the sun. Mm-hmm. Uh, three hundred and sixty five. Uh, let's just put it this way. Um without going to every single one, the Quran, the Bible, and the Torah are all coded. And they're all coded with the numbers and percentages. Um, I believe 70% of the earth is water and um, somehow percentage equals the same in the Quran where it's mentioned. Again, I'm not an expert on this, but I know there's codes in the Quran, there are codes in the Bible, there are codes in the Torah. And if you take the time to study them, you're going to see that they basically all have one thing in common, numbers. And again, numbers are the one universal language. Men lie. We know women lie. (laughs) But numbers never lie, and that's just the case. Two plus two is always going to equal four, no matter how hurt your feelings are. No matter if you need a safe space or not, it's always going to add up to the same thing. So what people have to understand is you don't need to believe me. I'm not here to sell you on anything, okay? What you need to believe is to trust the people in positions of power because they're the ones using this information. I'm a millionaire. Okay, I'm not a billionaire, though. The billionaires are the ones using this stuff, and they'll never tell you. I'll give you some certain ways they hide this stuff in society. 33 is the number of influence. I've told you this before. Who is the most influential dead man in the world? Adolf Hitler. No. Who is the most influential dead man in the world? Jesus Christ. There you go. Some people would say Muhammad, but here's the thing. Jesus Christ is in the Quran, too. Jesus Christ is not only in the Quran, he's also in the Bible. So he is the most famous dead man in the world, and he died at what age? 33. I should have guessed that. Why did he die? Yeah, you should have. Slipping. Why did he die at age 33? Why? Very simple. Because at age 33, that gave him influence to connect Jesus Christ with that number. Because they connected Jesus Christ with the number 33. That makes it the number of influence. So he exactly. almost made it the number of influence by dying at 33. Um, I think it made him. You think it made him? What about like the time you die affecting um, your afterlife? Have you thought about that at all? Yeah. You, you like asking questions I have under non-disclosure. <laughs> oh, the, the, I'm asking like the sit outside questions. Yeah, uh, I'm a gatekeeper, guys. There's only so much I'm going to say publicly. All right. I have no problem admitting that either. <coughs> I have another one. Um, noise frequencies. So like the elites in Hollywood purposely um, orchestrating the music to suppress people's noise frequencies. 100%. Is this another non... No, no, we can talk about that. Um, they like to... Most people's heartbeat hits 72 beats per, se- per, hour, per minute. So what they want to do is they want to match music that matches the heartbeat. 
And when they do that, they know they can subconsciously control people's minds. That's why, you know, a lot of music is negative. Like, I won't let my kids listen to certain music. It's sad. Like, there's a lot of sad music that's popular. Rap is just all garbage. Even, like, the women. Like, this is what I tell people. Think, think about this. Destiny's Child. Oh, yeah. Every single song about, about Destiny's Child is, yo, get rid of your man. Yo, this guy's a loser. Yo, get your bag and be out. Women hear this stuff all the time. We know how easily women are mono- emotionally manipulated. They always vote for Democrats. So we, we understand that. So what you have to understand is why? Because they know how to control people with music. They know how to control people with sounds. They know how to control people with colors. Think about this. Donald Trump, whenever he was uh, doing a public event, whenever he had a red tie, he was very aggressive. Red is a very aggressive energy. When he had a blue tie, he was more of the diplomat. Yeah, McDonald's uses red to incite hunger. I know. Exactly, exactly. So red doesn't just uh, incite hunger. And anger. Incites not only anger, but sexual urges too. Really? Oh, think, think about it, think about true. it. The White red, sheets, the, the lady roses. in red. Think about the movie The Matrix, The Lady in Red. Fuck. The Lady in Red. What do you that th- symbolizes that stuff. The Matrix is such an amazing movie, but what do you think it was? Ma- it was made by like like tranny lesbians. It, it was. It was. Sia. Uh, well, it, you can't. I don't believe we live in that type of Matrix where there's some kind of computer in the back of us, our head. I don't believe that. I think it's more of a spiritual Matrix. So what you have to understand is the best lies have little truths. So yes, there is some truth in the movie The Matrix, but it's not that we're connected to some machines. This is more of a spiritual prison mm-hmm. than a machine prison. Um, you know, there's something called karma. You know, if, if you do bad things, karma is attached to your soul. And whether you reincarnate in this knife or the le- or the next, the karma is attached to you. Do you think you reincarnate as humans or you could potentially come back as animals like some I religions think, say? I think, I think if you live a very, very negative life... Um, yes, you could devolve as an animal. Really? I think if you're a murderer, and, and I'm not talking about people who murder out of rage or someone who committed manslaughter, killed someone by accident, but if you're some kind of bloodthirsty murderer, yeah, maybe you get you devolve into a wolf next time. You, maybe you devolve into something you know more primitive so you can use those instincts. Um, pe- humans are supposed to do it with reason. Obviously, wars, violence solves a lot. That's why we have World War One, World War Two. But the whole point of being a, a, a human is to try to find a reasonable solution before you come to violence. So, yeah, I think if people are just violent for no reason, they could devolve to animals. Yeah, I just read something, too, that like circumcision at birth is a part of like if you stay uncircumcised, that um, that flesh helps you remember your past life and like the first year, which is weird. The, the, I, don't, the, I would the, never the, kill the, myself. I, like I'm not gonna go too deep into like the abortions. I, I, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Probably shouldn't either. But um, you know, there are certain customs that are done to society. You know, and they lie that's you know for your benefit, but it's actually you know. I wonder for, what. For, yeah. You know, I'll give you an example. Uh, fluoride in water. They say uh, fluoride's good for your teeth. You think the government cares that much about your teeth? Bullshit. You, 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 you really think the government cares that much about your teeth? The truth of the matter is everyone has a pineal gland. Calcifies. And, and, and when you have a pineal gland, that is basically your... Um, your third eye. If that- it's open. If it's open, it can help with your third eye. Uh, people have it calcified, and what do you want from these people? You're not going to get much from them because they don't even understand this type of thinking. And again, this is all done by design. The people in positions of power don't want competition. And that's why it says in the Bible and in uh, in the Quran that numerology and astrology is haram because the the people who wrote those books they want to have the information but they want to scare you from having it too. It is pretty interesting because if they thought it was complete bullshit, I doubt they would even acknowledge it in the books. One hundred percent. It's pretty sad to see how many people are so close minded in the chats and whatnot. Like I'm here just asking questions, learning. You think more people would want to? Well, 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 listen, listen. I want you religious folks to understand something about me. I support the family unit. I've been happily married for 20 years. I have kids. I'm not, I I support the nuclear um, family. I've helped politicians in the past. Um, What I'm basically trying to tell you is God told you to think. He even says in the Quran, think. 
It says in the Bible, think. <clears throat> if you want to say astrology is evil, fine. I'll, I'll, let's take all the astrology aside. Let's actually give you that. What are you going to say about my numbers? What are you going to say about numerology? Are you really going to say numbers are evil? Are you really going to say that I'm some kind of Satan or some other kind of bullshit because you disagree with me? Why would you think that way if my numbers are all over your holy book? Maybe it's you that should start fucking thinking. Do you think NPCs are actually real? Like some people yes. don't have souls? Yes, I 100% believe that. As a matter of fact, to take a Bible term, um, the 144, I think there's uh, basically 144 million people on Earth with souls. And I think the rest are NPCs. And considering there's 7 billion people on the planet, that tells you a lot. I think the NPCs are here to keep us in line. The ones with souls to make sure if you have a great idea, oh, no, that shit ain't going to work, dude. Give it up, man. They're here to keep you down, deflate you. And sometimes NPCs can be in the same family, too. Yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? They want to keep you down. Like, whenever you have this grand idea, they want to... Here, here's the thing about me. I remember um, in 2001 when I started doing numerology and astrology, and I saw something here. You know, all the, all the numerologists of that time were broke. Um, you know, it wasn't really a place where I had mentors or anything like that. And I said I was going to, you know, make this famous. And I was going to basically um, make a living off this. Um, and I have. And, I've, and just so you guys know, because I know some people only respect good capitalism. And I am a good capitalist. I'm a millionaire many, many times over. Uh, I live in a very, very expensive area code. And when it comes down to it, money's not an issue. I'm not bragging. What I'm basically trying to say is what I do works. What I do works. And you might worship God. I serve God. Difference. What's the power in the number 33? I mean, um, 13. 13 is the number of the matrix itself. Matrix starts with M. M is the 13th letter. You know, um, there's 13 ruling families in uh, the world. There's, you have the Rothschilds on top. And then you have the 12 other Pinzer families. They have that... 1 plus 12 code equals 13 all across society. Example, one judge, 12 jurors. 1 plus 12 system. Um, so it's, it's a systematic number. It, they, they, so why do they it's make a you, homage number. Why do they make you fear it? It's a homage number because you got to fear the elite. You understand? It's a homage number. They, they pay homage that way. McDonald's, big M. M is the 13th letter. Let's go to the Philadelphia 76ers. They're going to tell you they're called, they're, they're called the Philadelphia 76ers because of 1780, 1776. The truth of the matter is, how come they're not called the 1776ers? They're called the 76ers. 7 plus 6 is what? 13. 13. Uh, there's the, there was the 1849 yeah. gold rush in San Francisco. So you, you think that's intentional? Not yes, because 100%. Seven, not because 76ers rolls off the tongue easier. 100%. What about the 49ers? Come on, man. They're going to say it's because of the 1849 gold rush. But they, they have cover. But to thir why, why to 13 if that's a if that's the number of, of elites in control? Want, There's not another better number to, to for like winning oh, championships? Oh, 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 listen, listen. Different numbers have different frequencies. Mm -hmm. Some numbers you want associated with love. Some numbers you want associated with fear. 13 is like Friday the 13th. It's very symbolic of fear. So again, you have one main Federal Reserve Bank in Washington, D.C., and 12 more all across the country. You understand what they're trying to do? They're trying to implement that 1 plus 12 system. Jesus and his 12 disciples. You understand what I'm trying to show? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm showing you how they're doing this in religion. I'm showing you how they're doing this in banking. I'm showing you how they're doing this in everyday society. Think about this. Banking, Federal Reserve, one main, 12 that follow in the United States of America, 12 other banks. Jesus Christ, one, 12 apostles. Astrology, one sign, 12, one, one sun, 12 signs. It's everywhere around you. If you, you all you got to do is start paying attention. You talk about energy and stuff. To like someone that doesn't believe in this at all, how would you explain energy? Someone who doesn't believe in this like energy like so what made me really believe in energy and start seeing 
life differently rather than just like this matrix world how we're perceived to see it it's like i took psychedelics and that like okay. kind of mushrooms that's that's the one you should people take yeah and that like opened my mind to like this isn't it, this world isn't just what we see like every single mushroom trip i've had i've taken something new out of it and recognized that there's different energy frequencies moving around how do you explain uh it's, sex to a person who's never had it i guess how, how do you like, like the feeling how do you explain that you can't explain it to a virgin. You know, I, I like to tell people, um, sometimes you can't see things, but you can feel it. And the best way for me to explain it is this. You can't see the wind, but if you put your hand outside the window, you can feel it. So there's certain things on this oh, planet like that. that you can actually feel without seeing. And I would ask everyone out there who seems to be a comedian, to open your eyes and start looking at your numerology and astrology because I'm the one talking to billionaires, not you. I was the one who was invited to the White House, not you. I was the one who helped the Warriors win championship after championship, not you. So again, this stuff works if people actually pay attention and do the push-ups. I mean, people want to be funny out there. Do your own work. So again, when it, at the end of the day, I want people to understand that you have to do the work. I can guide you, but you have to do it yourself. I have another question. Yes, sir. So a lot of people see three numbers in a row mm -hmm. very, very frequently. They're personally, called, They're called angel numbers. So I, I personally see 444 at least five, mm -hmm. five different times a day. Some people see 333. I just saw 111 in the chat. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are the reasons that people see these so, three numbers? So, so, so here's the thing. That, that cannot be coincidence. No, no, of course not. Um, here's the thing. Everyone sees those numbers. Most people just aren't aware of it. They think of it's a coincidence. You have a soul and your soul is evolved to the point where you can see the matrix that signals. This is all virtual reality. It called a matrix, but the matrix talks and its language is numbers. So it sends certain numbers out there. And if you know how to interpret them, you know what they mean. So for instance, when it comes down to, uh, let's say three, 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 three is the number of communication. So when anyone sees those three numbers together, they have to basically start communicating more. Uh, whatever means necessary, whether it be going to a party, you have to be more social. Uh, if someone sees 555, it might be a baby on the way. Uh, when it comes down to a five is the number of sexual energy. So sometimes when people see that, when people see 666, six is the number of family. So again, most people think oh that's some kind of. Oh my god! People, most people think that's a negative number. Is that why they make it yeah, so exactly, negative? Exactly. Because they're it's, against the family exactly. unit. Exactly. So it's not just that, but think about it this way: six 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 is not the number of the devil. Okay, there might be a devil. I'm not saying he doesn't exist, but six 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 is not the number. Six 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 is the number of time itself. Sixty minutes in an hour. Six and zero six. Sixty uh, uh, seconds. seconds in a minute. Six and zero six and twenty four hours in a day. There is your six six six. Very simple. What's up with um 31 days and 12 months? 31 days and 12 months. They should go back to 13 and um, 28. They should go back to 13 months and 28 days. Uh, the 28 days is when the moon goes around to match the woman's menstrual cycle. They should go back to that. Um, the reason they changed it is to manipulate the energies. So it used to be 28 days to a month every single yes, time? Every 13, single month? 13 months and 28 days. That's what it used to be. And they uh, changed it to the Gregorian calendar to manipulate the energies. So and do you follow if they because we're, we're following what, what's the calendar called? Gregorian. Gregorian. Mm -hmm. So we're following this now and you base people's um, personalities off me, of birthdays me, on that. Ask me why, though. Why? It's very simple, because if six, seven billion people in the world it gives believe, it. believe that today is uh, September 16th. That's exactly what the environment, the matrix is gonna do. So that's why people's energy is gonna match that day because everyone's manifesting that calendar itself. This stuff is deep. And, and, and again, this is a whole different way of thinking for most of you people, I understand that. But at the end of the day, do you wanna evolve? Do you actually wanna evolve? Because this is the future. This is what's gonna be going and replacing religion. Not just Christianity, not just Islam, all of it. Because at the end of the day, you have to add both. You have to understand this if you want to evolve in life. Why, why did January 1st 
of year zero happen on that day? Probably because the elite decided that was the best day to do it and they did it on certain ley lines. There's certain like points in the earth where there's chakras and the ley line points. And they probably did it because they knew if they did it that day it would be the best effect. Remember how I told you off camera I did everything in 2023 to blow up? Mm -hmm. They probably used the same strategy for whatever reason they did it. Hmm. And Jesus wasn't... Damn. 9-11, again, police code for... What no, do you terror and stuff like that? Wh why are why are numbers shaped the way they are? That that has influence too, right? The that angles matters. matter. Everything. I'll give you one. I'll give you one one. When it comes down to numbers, five is the number of change. Okay, if you have a five open on both sides, it's open. It's right in the middle. So the the shape of the number tells you a lot about the people's personalities. Because people who are fives are very open-minded. It's right there in the shape. Hmm. Uh, you know, a lot of people who are overweight have some six energy. Look at the shape. You understand how that works? <laughs> so, uh, I mean, people, a lot of people with big egos have a nine. Look at the shape. Big head. So, again, shapes matter. Uh, I, I, this is all there, guys. You got to put in the work. So you talked about the Gregorian calendar and how, like, since everyone believes in it, that's what gives it the power. Are there any other examples like that in society? Um, like everyone believes in it and that's what gives it the power? I would say it's only big things because you have a lot of people believing in it. You understand? Um, a lot of people believe in capitalism now. It works. Uh, before, a lot of people believed in communism. And that didn't work so well, but at least they tried it. Um, usually it, it has to do more with big things like calendars and things of that nature, but the power of manifestation is real. Yo, you know what? I didn't even think about. I was just thinking, so like, you know how a very common price is 1999. Mm -hmm. I was just going to ask you because the 20. way they, expl out, yeah, the way they explain that is because it's just below 20. So it's like a psychological mm -hmm. thing. And then as I was thinking that I was like, holy shit. Yeah, they lie to you. It's 1999, 1999. Yeah, 28 the number of money. And again, of, of, like for instance, 28 is the number of money. He brought this up. So let me give you an example. Uh, the richest man in the world, Elon Musk, born on 28th. He replaced Bill Gates, who is the richest man on earth, born on the 28th. Did you know that six of the top 23 people in the world, 23 richest people in the world, six of them are born on the 28th? That's insane. Again, think of the mathematical probability of that. Now, some people could say, yo, Gary, that's not enough. Okay. What's the most valuable sports franchise in the world today? The Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys founded on the 11th. 28th. 20, 20, <laughs> what I'm, are you I'm doing? Oh, my God. I'm all over the place. You just fucked up that clip. Fuck. You just fucked Whatever, up that Whatever. That'll still make and it go viral. <laughs> I'm trying you, to think of the, questions. What is too. the biggest uh, asset manager in the world? It is Vanguard. Vanguard is founded 5-1-1975. Adds up to 28. Uh, Bill Gates, excuse me, I'm sorry. Steve Jobs, uh, born 224, 1955, opened up Apple, founded 4 1, 1976, 28, 28, the richest cash rich company in the world. Uh, we're talking, uh, uh, Anna Nicole Smith, you remember that whore, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, she married the billionaire, married on the 28th. You understand how this works? This is this this is not me hallucinating. This is not me. Oh, Gary smoking some shit. No, it has nothing to do with it. This is based in fact. If you choose to accept the challenge, you know, and actually try to evolve, cool. If you think this is bullshit, that's cool too. Because at the end of the day, I still got way more money than you, <laughs> and my wife is a lot hotter than yours as well. Mwah. What about the times that you fall asleep and wake up in the morning? What about it? What does that have anything to do with numerology? Uh, I don't think numerology works in the dream world. I think that's a completely different realm. What do you think about the dream world? What's your take? Uh, I believe that. Can you remember your dreams, or do you lucid I mean, dream? Yeah, I mean, sometimes I remember my, my dreams. I mean, hell, I've done everything from you know, uh, astral projection to remote viewing. I don't recommend people do stuff like that all the time. You've, because you've like purposely done astral projection? Projection, yes, of course. Where, and, and where he, you go above and you look at your body laying there? It, I'm not sure it's like that in the movies, but you do, definitely do have out of body experiences, and it's it's not like. You're over there staring, looking at your body. It's just everything around you is different. 
you see what's not you, you see, like for instance a doll can only see black and white humans can see colors but there's different colors out there that we can't even see it's in the spectrum so again this is what numerology and astrology is i'm actually trying to help you guys understand that if you look at the bigger spectrum you might be able to see something more the dream world in my opinion um everyone has to sleep and no matter if you're animal human and insect you have to sleep and at the end of the day i think when you sleep you're actually giving energy away because think about it when you sleep you leap energy starts with e sleep two e's leap so basically when we go to the dream world I think something is taking our energy. And it's like we're teleporting. Yo, that's actually crazy too. I would never kill myself. But I, my roommate is really diving into the raw diet and like the way our bodies are truly meant mm -hmm. to be without jabs and everything. And he's discovered that realistically our bodies, if we're in our most natural state, only need two to three hours of sleep. So uh, Tesla would go to sleep for about two, 20 minutes, wake up and go back to sleep in 20, you know, work for three hours, go back to sleep for 20 minutes. That's what he did, like yeah, all that's, day, that's 30, all three time. hours, 20 that's minutes? That's all he did. Three hours, four hours up, not for 20 minutes, I actually, back up. I actually wanted to talk about Tesla. Mm -hmm. um, not sure how deep we can go into it, because sure. we're on YouTube and whatnot. But I know he talked about the importance of number three as a building block. Can you expand on that? Uh, three is, this is a third dimensional plane. So the earth, everything we're on, this is 3D. The next level up is four. So right now we're in the third dimensional plane, so number three has a lot to do with it for instance one is male energy two is female energy one plus two is three three is the childlike energy that's why child starts with c and c is the third letter how did people even like organize all of this stuff you like, know you know what i consider myself a genius that i figure out these codes without joining the freemasons without any help without any mentor but to actually put this system together that's like the most <sighs> advanced coding of all time wow to actually put this together it, it makes you think is it if I, it, like it makes you think is a human even possible of putting this stuff together because i'm usually the smartest person in the room yeah I, again you know i i am arrogant deal with it um and i couldn't even fathom putting this system together no one i know has the ability to do something like this i mean to make sure everything fits uh, genius starts with G. G is the seventh letter. Uh, gamble starts with G. What number do they always uh, start showing in the casinos? Seven. Seven. G, uh, G is the seventh letter. You understand how it works? Uh, how many cards in the deck? 52. 52. Five and two is seven. So again, it, it's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. No matter what you look at, it's there. You huh. know, um, let's look at sports. Michael Jordan, born uh, 217-1963. He's an 11 life path. He mentored Kobe Bryant. Kobe is another 11, born 8-23-1978. He mentored Kyrie Irving. Another 11, born 3-23-1992. Uh, so 11 to 11 to 11. What do you think? This is a coincidence? Start looking at numbers. They never lie. Unlike the people over here in your uh, chat board, um, when it comes to, wow, you probably have a lot of NPCs. There's a ton There's of NPCs. There's a lot right? of NPCs in this chat, man. So we know uh, th the messages are going to resonate with NPCs. So if you think this is a fraud, if you want to talk jokes, if you want to talk shit, that's fine. You are an NPC because you refuse to take the challenge to better yourself when it comes to knowledge, to evolve to the point where, you know what? <laughs> Maybe there's something a little bit out there that you don't know. Yeah, it's kind of sad to see, but it's okay. Whatever. NPC game. The people you that it resonates out with. There. Yeah, the people it resonates with, it'll. Uh, it'll That's it'll how you know them. you have a soul. If this resonates, you congratulations. You have a soul. You want you want to do another trick? Let's see it. Okay. Go like this. Do you have any anything on you? Okay. Go like this. <clears throat> All right. Now take your hands like this, a little bit apart, just a little bit, and then go back, but don't touch them. No, further apart. Not that fast. It feels like gra it's like feels like a magnet. Yeah, don't touch him. Exactly. It feels like a magnet. What the fuck? Exactly. Hold on, hold on. Just keep it right there. Now, I want you people at home to do the same thing. Take your hands and go like this. But don't touch. Don't touch. Close together. You know, like this. A little bit apart. A little bit apart. You should feel some kind of energy. You should feel some kind of magnetism. And if you don't, you're an NPC because you don't have a fr you don't have a soul. Do you understand that? You do not have a soul if you can't feel it. Come here. Put your hands right here. Give me, okay. Do you feel that? 
The S. That's weird. This you is how stuff works. You have energy in your body. By the way, they don't teach you this stuff in schools. What about 10 fingers, 10 toes, four limbs? That's, yeah. Anything about that? I mean, people have five senses, you know. Huh. Let me see, I have another good question. Porn. So, I'm not sure if there's numerology related to this, but I know the elites try to get us addicted to porn from a young age to pretty much destroy our soul. Is there anything numerology related to that stuff or maybe our frequencies? Yeah. Um, I would never kill porn, myself. Porn, porn, <laughs> <laughs> porn is given to you for free. Um, there's some other stuff that was given to you for free that we won't mention that didn't turn out to be so good for you. If the elite are giving you something for free, there is something wrong with it. There is something really wrong with it. Porn breaks down the family unit. So what happens is um, the guy starts being uh, addicted to porn and he doesn't give his wife sex. He doesn't give his wife sex. She's mostly going to go out there and find it from someone else. So it basically destroys the family unit. I believe porn should be banned. I believe only fan girls should be put out of business. And if I'm ever in a position of power, you best believe I'm going to do that. Because I believe in the family. See, what you don't understand is you Christians who are listening to me, we're mostly on the same team. I, I mean, I pretty much believe in the same thing they do. Ban porn. Go Trump. Stuff like that. I believe in the same thing you do. But there's a reason you vote for Donald Trump, and I know him. <laughs> there's a reason for that. There's a reason you vote for it, and I get invited to the White House. Because obviously, I know things that are valuable to people in positions of power. And I'm taking it. I'm taking the time out of my day to join your man over here to try to teach you some things. And if you think this is a joke, congratulations. When it's your time to be judged, at least they'll say, yo, someone actually tried to show you the way. Someone actually tried to show you the path, but you refuse to take it. Whose problem was that? It's your own. That's actually something that Muslims say. They say if you were never exposed to Islam and then you don't convert, then it's not your fault. But if you were exposed to it and then you don't convert, then... Um, you have to pay the consequences in the afterlife. You know, Islam is a beautiful religion uh, when things are falling apart. When you have nothing but degeneracy in the world. When you have women who have a higher body count at their age. When you have women who are allowing their bodies to be used like rental cars and then demand respect. You, know, you cannot build families with these type of women. So when you have degeneracy at this scale, like you do with America and some other Western nations, welcome Islam. Welcome Islam. Because, listen, Islam is actually confronting the problem. Um, you Christians, especially in uh, America and Canada and, you know, some of these other Western countries, you have done like the Lord of the Rings and you have bent that fucking knee. You have bent your knee to your enemy and they will do whatever they want. It, they, you can't even bake a cake. You literally can't bake a cake. But Islam and the Muslims, they're actually standing up against people and they're actually standing up against degeneracy. So right now is a perfect time for Islam because Islam can fix a lot of the problems that are in society today. The problem is when you have a stable society like we did in the early late 1940s and the 1950s when people can leave their cars and their, you know, everything. They didn't even have locks on the door. At that point, Islam kind of holds people back. Because Islam doesn't even believe in reincarnation, for God's sake. I mean, they'll tell you, oh, it is reincarnation when you're a baby <coughs> and then you're born. No, that's not reincarnation. That's how the human process works. What makes you believe in reincarnation? Like, have you because seen... I, because I've seen people... I, numerology. There's some people who are just older souls. There's some people who are just young souls. And you cannot tell me with any validity whatsoever that every soul has the same mission. Every soul does not have the same mission. So if every soul doesn't have the same mission, that means they're older souls and they're younger souls, which means Islam is wrong. <clears throat> what do they call the devil's hour at night? Um, got three? Three a.m. Three a.m. Is there a reason for that? Um, I would probably think that they're trying to mock the Holy Trinity. Really? That's what I would believe they were trying to do. What What happened first? What do you mean? Like, what happened first? Does time go back infinitely? 
I like to answer questions I can say with 100% validity, 100% fact where I can back things up. If I was to answer that question, it would be a theorem, theorism or a theory. I can't tell you. But yes, I do believe time is infinite. And the reason I believe that goes back to math. If you take uh, one third and two thirds and you turn them into from fractions to decimals, one a third to um, decimals turns into 0.3333. It goes infinite. on forever. So I do believe um, based off that math that uh, time and space can be infinite. What about like prime numbers? Anything? Of in- course, prime numbers mean something. Um, there's a reason why, you know, certain prime numbers keep showing up all the time. Those are one of those things that you have to do the work to figure out why certain prime numbers are showing up in history over and over and over. And um, 13 is a prime number, isn't it? Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, that is interesting. What well, is there an NPC number? Uh, if it is, I won't reveal. It. Do you tell people? <laughs> do you tell people? Um, I guess you do. It's like the negative stuff that could happen in their lives with numerology. Yes, you give 100%. them. You give them warnings. I, I I I've told billionaires to get divorced from their wives. <laughs> and then, did they ever not do it? And then the consequences paid. Yes. Uh, there was the minority owner of the Golden State Warriors. I always like to bring this up. Um, he is born in '66. And I told him 1996 was a bad year. And he's like, no, Gary, it was a good year. I made money and I got married. I'm like, are you still married? He's like, no. Did she take your bag? Yes. So sometimes when you do things at the wrong time, they come back to kiss you and that, you know, hurt you. So you, like, when you say, like, lay low in your enemy year, you mean just, like, like maintain? Do you, do you know how, how the game of football is played? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You either run the ball or you throw the ball, right? Correct. Okay. So if you're in your enemy year, this is why I recommend if you're on offense. First down, run the ball up the middle. Second down, run the ball up the middle. Third down, run the ball up the middle and then punt. That's how you play it safe. That's how you play it conservative. Because if you try to throw the ball downfield, pick six. It's it's going to hurt you. If you take chances in your enemy year, it is going to hurt you. That's how the game is played. How do um, professional athletes or these sports teams use numerology is it incorporated into the game itself like three I mean, periods I mean, 20 minutes I, I, I mean um i do i think they use numerology to set up the games no i don't think they were actually basing off that but i mean like for instance um the nfl no one cares about the nfl outside america absolutely nobody correct uh inside america is the number one sport why is that because energy nfl was founded in 1920 the year of the monkey and America's founded 1776, the year of the monkey. So, again, that's why that is the number one sport in America. The energies match. Saudi Arabia has been America's greatest ally in the Middle East. That's Arab nation. Uh, Saudi Arabia was founded in the monkey year. <laughs> you know, by, by the way, the monkey's friend is the rats. Israel, founded 1948, the year of the rat, is good friends with Saudi Arabia and good friends with America. So, again, you see how this works. If you choose not to accept this information, oh, I mean, how I can't help it if you're a mental midget. How many different correlations do you look for? So I know you analyze like the year, the friends year, you look at the dates, you add them up, and then there's like many, many numbers inside. So is it more so like a matter of like some of them are smaller energy amounts? Yes. And then if there's a bunch of Correct. different correlations? Correct. Correct. I'm starting to pick it up. Mm-hmm. It's, right. it's, 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 it's reverse engineering. That's all it is, man. Um, you just so you'll to, ever you'll sometimes see something where it's like correlation, 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 and you're like, holy shit! Yeah, time to put a lot of money on it. Yeah. So I, oh, so that's where you analyze like sports betting and stuff. There you go. There you go. My by God, the way, I'm picking it I, up. by the way, I'm I'm one of those guys who actually went in um, Atlantic City and won 1.2 million <clears> in a casino in three months off. Excuse me, in one month off sports betting, and they threw me out. As a matter of fact, three casinos in my life have thrown me out because I won too much money. So again, you guys can pray to your God. I will serve him. And because I'm serving serving him, I am thinking. And because I'm thinking, I'm using the cheat codes in the matrix to benefit me and the people who actually want to listen. How do the casinos utilize numerology? I know we talked about well, that seven, a bit. But. Seven, they say seven's a good number for luck. Actually, it's the exact opposite. Seven is the unluckiest number. That's why they're always telling you lucky seven to lucky seven because it's... Bullshit. Exactly. And then what about... Hmm. Interesting. And even like the patterns on the floors and stuff like that. Does that? Oh, that's that's more Masonic stuff. 
That's oh really? Uh, uh, Freemasons love checkered floors, black and white, black and white. So black adds up to an eleven in gematria, letterology, and so does white. So those two energy. That's why they always try to play black and white people against each other because that's the very emotional energy. They don't try to put um, they don't try to put the whites against the Asians, the blacks no, and the whites. Not, of course not. So it's, it's always eleven versus eleven. So I'll give you an example. They like to uh, start revolutions with people um, with the name of G. Think about this. Who was the leader of the American Revolution against Great Britain? George George Washington. Washington. Capital G. Capital G is the 33rd letter. So let's go like this. Oh, because... Again, one equals A. Lowercase A. But if you go to capital, capital B is the 28th letter. That's why billionaire starts with B. Capital B, 28. And capital G is 33. Now you understand why... Tate likes to call himself Top G, <laughs> and he is kind of influential, isn't he? Do you think that that has to do with numerology? One hundred percent. Not just because like, he's a gangster, as he says. Top gangster. One hundred percent. I've been talking about the Matrix years before him. I've been talking about numerology and astrology, and my name has been G for a long time. My name is actually Gary. What do you think? I started GG33 for no reason. It's in the name. It's in the name. So again, when it comes down to uh, G. Why do the Freemasons have it? It's right in their logo, a capital G. What's 33. up? What's up with the I? Like, what's um, the Illuminati? I'll, I'll tell you about it because I, you know, um, want to make sure I live a long time. All I'll say about this is there's a reason why I is spelled E Y E and why I is spelled I. People have to figure it out themselves. Like I, like ca- like capital I. Mm-hmm. There's a reason for that. Mm-hmm. Damn, are we allowed to talk about Freemasons on YouTube, or yeah. is that something that no, they shut up? About, you can talk about Freemasons. Um, I, I really am not familiar with Freemasons and stuff at all. Um, they used to be very powerful back in the 1700s. They designed Washington, D.C. Like if you go to Washington, D.C., all the buildings are designed basically by Freemasons. The whole Washington, D.C. area is basically designed by Freemasons. Um, but they're not powerful like they used to be. Um, most Masons in the, um, you know, in the year 2023 are just usually laying in the woods uh, the, doing the middle mission. middle eight middle age white folks who just like to get together with other people and you know you know talk and stuff um the most power most masons have is maybe a a judge is a fellow mason he'll let him off on the speeding ticket these people these people don't have real power anymore they've been neutered they've been uh they've had a vasectomy they don't have any real power they did have power in the 1700s they did have power in the 1800s. They have very, very limited power now. Oh, did someone just say it? That has to do with it, though, obviously. I mean, people think so. Interesting. What I, um, I give enough clues. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, sometimes I just leave some bread. I'm picking it up. Like I'm analyzing the way your brain works mm-hmm. with this stuff, and I'm able to start seeing the correlations. Of course, 2025 snake year. Let's go. What and if, by the way, there is a lie in the in the Bible. Snakes are the most honorable, trustworthy people, people who are born in snake years. It's, it just shocks me that they have this term called snaked. He snaked you. Yeah, because the, I've known people for, fi- for over a decade in GG33, and the most loyal people have always been snakes. Every single time. So Why do you think they do that? I, I think it's basically the, you know... Do the exact opposite to make people fear something. Same thing with six six six. That's yep. the number four. Yep. And then what that that adds up to nine. Eight, six twelve eighteen. Add one and eight. That's nine. And Correct. then what is nine again? Nine is the number of the adaptability. Interesting. What about the rainbow flag? They cut off a, a color to make it six stripes. Intentional. Yes. Hundred percent. Have you seen the straight flag? Do you no. want me to show you? Yeah. Let me see the straight flag. It's actually hilarious. This is a this is a straight up joke. A straight flag. I, I, I've been talking about this. So, like, the liberals, they're very good at building, like, an emotional defense wall so that you can't attack their arguments or else you're a bad person. So, like, protect trans kids oh, sounds yes. like a good thing. And then mm-hmm. it's like, oh, protect the ability well, well, to you, cut you, their you, dick off. You, you have to basically think of this. Anything the government promotes as a noble act is a hidden evil. Think of it that way. Anything the government promotes real strong, it's a hidden evil. Yeah, like... 
you you being gay is now more heroic than joining the military. You wearing the mask, <laughs> now you're brave and you're putting 100%. it up. 100%. When it's desensitizing 100%. and it's seeing everyone as numbers. Like, 100%. I hope you guys are actually li listening to this, bro. It's like, it's pretty upsetting to me that so many of you are just like closed minded. But look at this shit. One, two, three, five stripes. I'm not sure if that has any meaning to it, but that's the five. ugliest shit in the why, world. Why would it be black and white? I mean, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's actually six on this one, maybe. Why would it be black and white? Why would it be black and white unless you want? That's, I just talked about black and white as Masonic. The checkered floors all the time. And again, I'm not saying mis all Masons are bad people. I hope you guys don't take that. I'm not one of these guys who blames Masons for everything. Um, I think they're just pretty much, they used to be powerful, and now they devolve to basically a local fraternity for old men. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, so I don't think we really went over my like um, my birthday at all on stream. Okay, so I, I won't go into everything because I don't want your enemies to know what your weak and strong points are. Oh, thank you. But I, I will that. say one thing: um, you're and you're, you're born in the goat year, and your enemy is the ox. Now, how do I prove this? Because it's one thing to say it, but it's another thing to prove it. I'm not a woman who's been divorced three times who's talking about blah 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 Western astrology. I'm going to prove it to you, Russia was uh, basically founded 1991. That's when the Soviet Union collapsed. Russia was formed. 1991 is the year of the GOAT. Who is Russia's enemy? In, in the 90s, the USA? Right now, who's their enemy? But they use a proxy. I mean, us? N NATO. Oh, NATO. NATO. Oh, they yeah. Use NATO's NATO as a proxy. Because NATO's expanding. Exactly. Into what is NATO? When was NATO founded? 1949. The year of the ox. So we have Russia versus NATO, ox versus goat. You see how this works in every single day of life. Let's uh, talk about the main ox in history. His name was Hitler. Hitler was uh, born 1889. Uh, he had Europe completely dominated in 1941. 1941 is the year of the snake. He's an ox. They're friends. His enemy year hit in 1943. Mm-mm. 1943 is the year of the GOAT. He lost Stalingrad. He lost Kursk. By the way, Kursk is the biggest tank battle in history. It happened in 1943. After he lost that, it was over. It was just a matter of time before he lost. It all happened in his enemy year. So again, example after example after example. So again, people can say what they want. You cannot disprove anything I say. Not a damn thing. I'm not going to read that comment for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a no, no. Um, what are some other correlations with like words? So you talked about, maybe I don't want to bring up the ones you brought off camera, but like no, I'll words bring up, being I'll bring similar. Up, I'll bring up one. You can't uh, say the word truth without the word hurt. The word hurt is within the word truth. Because the truth hurts. Exactly. The truth hurts. And you can't say Bible without the word lie. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt people's feelings out there? I'm so sorry. You cannot say the word Bible without the word lie. You know what else you can't say? The word alien without the word lie. Let's take the A off, the A off, and you have a lie right in there. So again, words tell you a lot if you're paying attention. Um, would you agree that America is Israel's best friend? Yes. Would most people in this chat room agree that America is Israel's best friend? Can people say yes? Okay, we got one yes. Can we get another yes? Or right, come on, let's get some involvement here. Oh man, this this crowds. I guess I beat them to death because I'm talking, new to live they, stream. They, I'm still they, they, they've been talking mad shit, and now all of a sudden, oh oh, this guy might be making a little sense. So here's why I bring that up. <clears throat> Jerusalem. You can't spell Jerusalem without the word U S A. Yo. <laughs> Everything is hidden in plain sight. It, it, it's your choice if you go to, through life blind. It's up to you, man. I'm not. I'm better than that. Are you? The, we'll the, figure it out soon, won't we? The only one that I've noticed or like that I saw on social media was race car. Is, is race car backwards? Yeah, yeah. And if you look at social media, the word social has the word CIA in it. And the CIA has been running social media for a long, long time. The CIA has plants as influencers, all sorts of good stuff. And that's why they use the word social media because it has the word CIA in it. So again, 
Words within words. What is that? You want to hear one more? Yeah, let's hear one more. The word dishwasher has her in it. Yo, that's crazy. (laughs) That's crazy. (laughs) Yo, it is what it is. Don't hate me. Don't hate the messenger. I'm just telling you what it is. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god that's gold what, what, like why would they do this is it an energy thing so yes. like it's all energy it's all it? energy and they do it subconsciously people don't even recognize it bro why is cia cia what, uh, uh, well third? central intelligence agencies but you know they have the, well, they that, use yeah. those initials and they put it in words and it has i'm so i'm assuming it has some new numerological of course value but they again um, let's not talk about the cia yeah, on youtube that's yeah, probably not the, yeah they, I, you don't want this watch too much in langley talk about let me hear like some um lgbt stuff with uh why why, why do you think people are gay um mostly propaganda propaganda i mean like it, it, people are not born gay right no, I, I don't believe they are i believe that like for instance i believe if uh, someone is born in saudi arabia they'll be muslim I believe if someone's born in San Francisco, they have a much higher chance to be gay. Environmental, yeah. You know, I think the environment matters. Um, you know, it, it, there, I have some strong issues on the subject. I'm not sure this is the right platform for it. Okay. I mean, I, you, you can talk about gay stuff on YouTube. Not right? the stuff I want to talk about. No. Me. All right, I have another weird one. Maybe there's some, <laughs> so, there, maybe there's some correlation to this date. So, like, I used to be a semi-professional Fortnite player, and all I would do. Oh my God! So many people were in Fortnite. Man. Everyone came from Fortnite. Everyone. So many people made it out the mud with Fortnite, and that's then they got into Web three. That, that's nuts. Oh, uh, how many people who are influencers do you think made it out of Fortnite? A ton. So many different people, and you know what the that's crazy. You know what a big correlation that's is. Crazy. A lot of us were the um we're called IGLs, so end game leaders, mm-hmm. and um so we would like lead the pack. The other guys would just be really good at the video game. So all the IGLs basically quit Fortnite once like the the pandemic started, as I like to call it, mm-hmm. and we all went in and just started making bread and getting into social media and stuff. Good shit, bro. Good shit. Let me find see. the way. Let me find this. Find the way. I, I think it's like winning the lotto to uh, do something to yourself after playing video games. That's like winning the freaking lotto, bro. People say it's M- I'm seeing NPC game. I actually learned a lot of life lessons playing video games. It sounds kind of cringe to say, but like you have to did lead. You, you learn, have to lead. Did you learn how to be a capitalist? Somewhat. Like you have to learn mm-hmm. how. There you go. You have to learn how to manage a team. You have to learn how to practice different aspects of your life. How to not stay emotional if something goes wrong. You have to analyze what move oh, you made. So, well, women definitely couldn't do that. No, there's no there's no professional women that are like actually. Oh competitive. really? <laughs> what a shock! No women can handle pressure. No, no, you're a sexist. Don't do that. Come on, guys. Dishwash her. Exactly. That's man. a clip let, right let, there. Let, let, cool. Let's get that going. Let everyone say there's a reason it's called dishwash her. Okay. <laughs> it, I mean, let's keep it real, man. Words don't lie. That's crazy. But so what? I found the screenshot that I wanted to pull up. Mm-hmm. So finally, once I decided to quit Fortnite, basically, I was like, okay, I'm like practicing my aim. I'm practicing my in-game leading skills. Mm-hmm. Like I'm analyzing all these different aspects. Mm-hmm. I'm doing tasks to improve them and basically build my character. Okay. And so then one day I was like, why the fuck not just do this with like business? Like start watching real estate videos, start watching e-com videos, try stuff and just like build these different aspects of my own character. The, the G brokies hear that? I hope they did. Did you? But this was like say it louder for the people in the back because you know there's a lot of people over there criticizing you and me. They don't have two pennies to rub together. I'm surprised you can afford the internet. They listen to this. (laughs) I mean, I'm being being dead serious. They're getting ads every five minutes. (laughs) (laughs) So the first video I decided to watch, I actually have a screenshot of it, and it was Graham Stephan on one of his videos, and it was at 2:07. Oh wait, 2:07 a.m. Which I don't know if that's much significance but it was january 11th on 2021 so january did this video blow up no like this is i just found this screenshot this Mm -hmm. is like the first video that i watched that was like i'm done with this fortnite shit let me go hard with like entrepreneur was it a very emotional decision it was like it was like it was like it almost like remember what i told you about the 11th yeah didn't happen on the 11th yeah and, and I'm assuming because it's January, that's a triple. It's like more energy. You're learning. You're learning. I'm a good learner. That's You're what people learning. say. Maybe that has to do with You're my learning. birthday. I'm like those, these people in the chat room, man. I'm, I'm losing hope for them, man. I'm losing hope. You know, when I do a stream with someone, 
you start si uh, understanding what the average IQ of their followers are by the chat comments, man. But I mean, some of you people are really disappointing. I, I mean, I mean, what, what can you say, man? Joe Biden's president, too. Yeah, it's it is what it is, man. I try to get if I can at least help like a few different people that have souls make it out of the the race. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. Agreed, my friend. Agreed. Anyways, brother, we, we did a nice little podcast today. Yeah, man, you were cooking. We got some good clips, for sure. Talk about 9/11. We already. I mean, we started right, with that. Did, did the whole spiel. They look like the. Tower. They look like 11. <laughs> Hundred ten <laughs> floors on the 11th. You Flight really, 11. You really want me to go in that spiel one more time? I feel no, like no, I, I didn't know you did that. Okay. No, nah, he, he was I, cooking. I did that spiel yeah. of Do you guys so have any... many freaking times. Oh, my God. Wow. Any final? He, even Sneeko said he memorized that spiel by now. I, I just mem I just <laughs> spit it out, basically. 9-11 uh, happened on 11. First point to hit the World Trade Center is Flight 11. 9-11, again, 9-11. Uh, New York City, 11 letters. New York, the 11th State of the Union. Uh, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, one of the planes went down. 11 the pentagon 11 it goes on and on and on how do you all right like one more question we'll take and then we got to get going okay. a good one don't be some don't have some we dumb might be shit here for a while man i'm not expecting much out of this uh numbskull group if he's so smart how do you get a reading uh you can just look me at, listen i blew up this year on twitter i blew up, not on twitter excuse me i blew up this year on ig I blew up this year on YouTube. Not like this, man, but I'm getting there. I blew up this year on TikTok. I got way over a million followers. I got about 35 people who work for me. If you want a reading from me, you better be rich, okay? Because I'm charging way of five figures. But if you want from my students who have much more affordable pricing, who've been tra trained by me, go for it. It's basically 188 GG33 classes. Put in GG33 class a hashtag anywhere. And if you want to get involved in GG33 Academy, well, that's my um, school where I basically have my students doing the teaching. He will have an affiliate link for you guys very soon. And you guys can join through that. And basically level up, guys. Level up in life. You know, here's the thing. You have to challenge yourself to be the best version of yourself that you can be. One of those is basically finding the right woman. You know, that, that's one of the things that levels people up. But one of those things is whenever you can't figure something out, try to attempt to because there are answers out there that honestly you are not aware of. And if you honestly start looking at dates, at numbers, just like this man, he's already picking up on stuff. You've seen this man's evolution through this podcast. Things are starting to make sense now. Are you the same or is this man better than you? If I got to guess. I'm thinking you're better than these people, <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> no, I'm not better than any of them, bro. Anyone can open their mind. I would like to think. You want to make a bet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna make that. I'm not gonna make that bet, bro. I know you are. You know, notice when you say start talking about money, they back off real quick because he doesn't have any faith in you. He just wants to be nice. I have absolutely no faith in you. But thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah, bro. Thank you so much for coming on. I didn't really see any good questions. Fitness. Is there anything you want to add about fitness? Because uh, I'm not the I don't I'm not the expert at that. I'm 45. When I was 23, I would have whooped any one of your asses. Yeah, but yeah, you're 45 year old guy. 45 years old, man. You're and, I, I, and again, um, next year if I get like 10 million followers and I can get paid off it, then we'll see what happens. I'm not I'm not the one to ask for that. There's way much more qualified people. Go to tape for that shit. I mean, hell, man. Even he can tell you how to lift a dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. I appreciate it. That's on, brother. Peace.